Welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to slap literally any image on a billboard using Photoshop. Up, 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 but before we jump into today's video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I've noticed that most of my viewers are really not subscribed to my channel. So if you ever wanna see me as a YouTuber for the long run, please subscribe to my goddamn channel. With that being said, make sure you also click that bell button so you stay updated with all my latest videos. Without any further ado, let's just jump into it. So right off the bat, we have Photoshop open and as you can see, this is the image we're going to be working with today. And over here, if you notice that we have a billboard over here and some other stuff going on. Now, you can apply this process with literally any other billboard images as well it doesn't really matter so i'm gonna be showing you a workflow that you can really follow for your other pictures or yeah anything as well but remember that this one is a bit more sophisticated because it has a curve so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the rectangle tool and we're gonna draw a rectangle kill why not right and then once we're done with that and you're happy with the size of it uh, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be adjusting the edges so that it matches with the billboard, right? But before we do that, one really important thing that we really need to do here is that once you create the rectangle, come here, right click and click convert to smart object because we want to apply our image in this rectangle down the line. And if you don't do this now, later it's going to lose all of its properties. So it won't, it will be like blended and stuff. So yeah, we don't want that. So the next thing we're going to do is like we're going to hit Control T so that we have the transform ready for this. And that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pressing Control um, and holding it. And with my left mouse, I can, you know, use, uh, move around those points. So I'll be just moving around those points just like that. So when you're happy with all your points being adjusted to at least a good spot, um, you can leave it as it is and hit Enter. Then the next thing we're going to be working with is basically warp and split warp. Now, before we go further, we, I would want to actually apply my image that I have just so that, you know, um, we can see how it would look like. So this is the image that I'm going to be using for this billboard. So yeah, pretty cool image, right? And now I'm going to make sure you save it, control S. So how did I get to this image is basically I just double clicked on this thumbnail. Um, and this can only happen if it's a um, smart object, all right? So you paste your image here, basically you slap it and then save. And yeah, coming back here, as you can see that we have already applied this image, which is wonderful. And for the time being, if you want to like, you know, see how the adjustment is going, you can put it to multiply, but it might be a bit distracting. Either way, let's continue. So I'm going to press Control T again to have the transform things open and we're going to click on warp. So once we have warp ready, as you can see over here that we have a grid, which has like default three by three, four, four, and five to five. And then we can also split warp, which lets us, allows us to like, you know, put more horizontal or vertical lines or even both. And yeah, we've got some warp options, which we are not going to be really messing with. So yeah, um, right now we can go for three by three so that, you know, we have a bit more adjustment that we can do. But be careful with this grid because like as many as you have, it will, you know, have a, a bit, make it more hectic for you to work with. So try to keep it simple because with those points, you're going to be already suffering a lot and, you know, it won't be that precise. So yeah, it depends on honestly how you do it. So yeah, with that being said, I'm going to first click on this one. And as you can see that we have a handle over here, I'm just going to move this handle. And I'm going to do the same for the start, uh, starting point of this one. And yeah, once that's done, I'm just going to like see how this one's adjusted. So as you can see that like it's a bit out, I'm going to like just adjust it a bit more. And I'm going to bring this one up as well. And as you can, if you notice that like this handle just went up and I'm going to like drag it up down like that. So that's how you can really handle with uh, play with the handles as well. So if you also like, you know, click on it and play with it, you can adjust and find your, you know, sweet spot. That's how it's going to be. So I'm not going to really make it like exactly accurate. I'm just going to try to make it as precise as possible and see where it can go. So over here, we are going to go more as you can see that there's a lot of space down there. So 
So yeah, um, the plus point of using this as a multiplier is that we can see if it's you know not hitting some spot or not. And yeah, you can zoom in more to get uh, a more better detail and stuff. Just in case if you like, it's not really working out for you. You don't necessarily have to be this zoomed out. It's just me being me ruining my eyes. So yeah, uh, yeah. I think this should do for the time being let's have a look at it and yeah we can still edit and stuff so we don't have to really worry about that so i'm gonna zoom in a bit more now so that i can fix the warp edges and do this as well and pretty much everything else looks fine to me for the time being okay i think it's see it's off a bit there so i'm gonna open warp and fix this up too and yeah as you can see there is a bit of red line over there and yeah and then as you can see we're gonna make it normal and then yeah that's how it's gonna look like so if i'm noticing that i could probably have a bit more curve over here because it looks a bit off so yeah see as you are adjusting these you have to be very very careful otherwise you will not get your expected result or it might look too odd so it's the key here is to you know play around with it and finding again the sweet spot so yeah i think i'm happy with this one and we'll be going with exactly like this and as you can see that it's already like you know shaped up really well going with really well now what's the next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna make it look a bit more realistic how can we do that is basically we could create a few more layers so like let's try to first click on this rectangle and right click and load selection so that we have a selection of this and once that's done i'm gonna be creating a new layer and you know putting a fill color over there and actually instead of doing a fill color we could also just play with the gradient so just click on the gradient and as you can see over here that we have a nice gradient going on so i want the gradient to be like this like white and then transparent and yeah have it like that so then we're gonna just like play around with this to see the how can we make it look you know a bit more realistic and stuff so let's just adjust it according to our needs i'm gonna actually make this probably like that and it shouldn't be subtract subtract actually because we wanted to have that feeling and yeah uh let's see what else we can play with i think this looks better the heart mix looks better for me in my opinion so i'm just gonna like move it around and see where should i really put this and you can also like you know mess with the scale and adjust it according to your needs So yeah, once that's done, it looks all right to me for now. And we can make some more adjustments actually. So as you can see over here that we have like a shadow of this entire thing. So why don't we create that up? So I'm gonna create one more other layer and then just go ahead and, oops, I forgot to pick my pen tool. So make sure you click your pen tool with path and make sure it's selected to path. Right. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just select shape and then go ahead and play with this. Honestly, this is, you can just go around and do however you want to. This doesn't really have to be exactly accurate because this is just a representation of the reflection. So let me get done with this one real quick. And yeah. As you can see that i'm not really going into the details of it because this is again just a reflection nothing much more of that and then until here there you go and if you want to be really careful about um where your point ends if and if it really doesn't go with your banner you can just you know take it a bit more out and then we can adjust it accordingly why am i saying that's because now let's say when i turn this one on right um i can just click this and then you know put inside of it so all i need to do is like select that layer 
make sure it's on top of the billboard um the picture basically and then you just press alt and then you can see that cuts all the extra other edges that's not supposed to be there so once we have this ready the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make it look a bit more realistic so how are we gonna do that it's basically very simple we're just gonna click on the fill over here make sure your pen tool is selected and this layer as well we're gonna go to gradient and then once we have this here we're gonna adjust the colors a bit make this darker and then reduce the opacity as well like um, 40 maybe and yeah then i'm just gonna play around with this how it looks like uh, yeah with that being done i think i can play with overlay a bit so yeah with overlay as you can see that it looks a bit um very less understandable so i'm just gonna uh, um, play with the gradient a bit more for this Let's click on this one and like increase it to 90 maybe. And adjust it accordingly. So yeah, with that being done, like, you know, we have a more realistic reflection over here. And yeah, it's more about like you, you playing with it and seeing that what kind of gradients would work out for it. If you wish to do another gradient, you can also do so. Basically, I'll just get the gradient over here and you can apply one like this. And then just simply put it on inside of this too. And then you just like play around with this lighter color. I think this one soft light looks way, way better. So I'll just like reduce a bit more. And yeah, this looks way more like, you know, it has reflections going up all around and stuff. The next thing we're gonna be doing is like, we're gonna be masking this. So click on this layer mask. Once that's done, I'm gonna like reduce the opacity of this so that we can see the pole over here. I'm gonna click on the brush and make sure it's like a solid. And then I'm just gonna simply, you know, make this visible so that you can see the pole. gonna reduce the size as well and stuff so reduce you can use the brackets to reduce it the size of the brush and yeah then we have this one as well and now i think i can have a look at it right so now we're just gonna like alter the brush so as you can see with black we did this press x and it'll like bring you to the zone again like where you can just like erase the hole so just like, you know, play around with this a bit until you get the perfect point for it. And if you don't want it to be like very solid, you can just pick a brush with a softer edge. But yeah. And I'll just adjust a bit more here. Over here as well. I think I'll also use the soft edge. Give up uh yeah so yeah you can see with the soft edge brush it has a way better way of coping with this i'm just gonna raise this up bring this up you can erase from here so yeah once that's done as you can see that this pole is over there now we have a light street lamp over here so we're gonna do the same for it so press x so when, when it's black it's basically erasing the billboard and when it's white it's basically erasing the other part of it so yeah uh i'll just do a bit more here i don't know what to do those parts reduce the brush size and just do your thing So once I again bring the opacity, I'll see the differences clearly. So I'll just like bring up the opacity now. As you can see, it looks like almost a ghost lamp. I'm gonna like basically fix that up a bit more. 
and with that we have it ready so this is how it looks like after the entire thing and if you want to now adjust the image even after this you can so basically for an example i'll just add a little bit of text over here and change the font to i don't know why i have this font selected honestly i never worked with this font so yeah uh just go with something bold find something bold okay switch yeah this one will work fantastic yeah i just want to show you an example so i'll just save it come here and you can see that that's also there pretty cool so it's basically dynamic and you can always come and change this image all you need to do is just come here click on this um billboard like the rectangle you've created make sure it's a smart object otherwise you can't do all of those so yeah so that's all for today. I hope you've learned something new. I'll catch you in the next video. Tschüss.